What's your poo telling you? Well, for your consideration today, folks, this is a wonderful book all about poo. If you're wondering what on earth is coming out of your butt because it looks mighty strange or occasionally the bizarre does uh, come out and sometimes causes pain, sometimes causes humor, uh, then this is a book for you. This book has been around for a few years now. Uh, it was written by Josh Richman and Anish Sheth. And I think it filled a niche market. You know, there are a lot of people wondering what on earth was going on inside their stomachs and what on earth was sitting at the bottom of their toilet bowl. And I think this probably covers most of it. So if you're someone who likes to look before you flush and you're interested in the ins and outs of uh, what you've done, then this is the book for you. Just uh, as we open the front cover, you'll see uh, you'll see the contents page it does go through the typical poos that will come out as well as the more obscure ones so you've got your uh, your monster poo which is probably after you've eaten quite a bit you've got your uh, sneak attack which is well it's meant to be a fart but something comes with it you've got uh, more obscure ones like the green goblin uh, the painful ones like the Chinese star in fact it was the Chinese star that really put me onto this book I had done a pretty excruciatingly painful dump and I contacted a friend of mine and said look I got this thing in the toilet it's not very big but I tell you what it felt like razor blades going through me and uh, you got any idea what it might be and he put me onto this book and uh, if I open up to that page it gives such a beautiful description which is I think a, a typical example of what you'll find in the book let me read it for you this poo's defining characteristic is the excruciatingly painful sensation, a feeling as if your rectum is being torn apart from the inside as the turret exits your body. This searing agony is commonly the result of passing a particularly hard angular bowel movement. At times this stool's appearance can be a source of bewilderment. As we hold back the flow of tears, our awareness quickly shifts to the identification of the offending particle. The mounting rage, however, is diffused when we gaze into the waters, only to see a small, seemingly innocuous turd resting peacefully on the bottom of the toilet bowl. Now, I won't go into the explanation because I want you to buy the book, but Dr. Stuhl does give a brief explanation, and you have, well, it's a pretty fine picture as well, and it's pretty much exactly what came out of my uh, rear end. But there, this picture is uh, for most of the, the poos here, uh, and lovely explanations of things like the clean sweep, the one where, you know, it's the wipeless poo, it's called. Um, so if you're, you're interested in brown, and if you're interested in toilets, and if you're interested in a rather bizarre types of uh, stools, uh, then I would highly recommend this book. It's probably not for the faint-hearted. Most lady friends will probably find it disturbing if they go into your bathroom and see it there. But nonetheless, I think they'll probably have a little smile on their face as they flick through the pages and look back in the toilet bowl to see what they've actually done. So consider this book. If you're, in, you're interested, as I say, in, in the, uh, the bowel movements, and uh, there are a couple of other books in the series which I might review later on, What's My P Telling Me, and there is a log book that goes with this book as well, which uh, gets you to fill in information every time you do a dump. Anyway, that's it for me today. You got anything else you want me to review in Jimmy's reviews, please let me know. And uh, thank you for your time today.